in this lesson, we are going to learn about the superposition theorem, which says that what the current or the voltage across any element in a multiple source linear circuit can be found by what taking the algebraic sum of the current or the voltage across that element due to what each individual source acting alone. So what that means is that when we take this circuit that I have here, which has what multiple voltage source here, okay. If you want to calculate for the current or voltage drop across this resistor here, we can do that by what considering each of the voltage source was acting alone. Okay, so that means first of all, you are going to consider the first voltage source acting alone, then calculate for the current or the voltage drop across this resistor. Then afterwards, you consider the, the second voltage source acting alone. Then you calculate for the what the current or the voltage drop across this resistor. Then you come and add what the two values, and that will give you what the current or the voltage drop across what this resistor. So let's look at what that means. So I'm going to take an example to help us understand this. So let me draw the circuit here. So I have the first voltage source here, okay. So considering this circuit, okay, which has two voltage sources. So I have this resistor to be a 3 ohms resistor. I have this to be a 6 ohms resistor and then I have this to be what? a 12 ohms resistor. Okay, this is a 42 volt source and then this is a 35 volt source. Okay, so this circuit here, okay, let's calculate for the, what, the current flowing through this 3 ohms resistor here. Okay, so I'm going to calculate for the current was flowing through this 3 ohms resistor. So to apply superposition theorem, we are going to do this by what, considering each of what the voltage source was acting alone. Okay, so first of all, we are going to consider the 42 volts acting alone, then later on we consider what the 35 volts acting alone. So to consider one power source acting alone, you have to short circuit the other. Okay, that's if it is a voltage source, you have to short circuit it, and then if it's what a current source, you have to open circuit it. So first of all, I'm going to consider the 42 volt source acting alone. So let's draw the circuit. So we have the circuit to be something like this. So I have what the 42 volt source here. Then I have this. 6 ohms resistor here, okay. Then I have the 3 ohms resistor also. So, since it is a voltage source, we are going to short circuit that voltage source, okay. We are going to short circuit that voltage source, okay. So, this is the 3 ohms, this is 6 ohms, and then this is what 12 ohms. Then I have the 42 voltage source here. So once you calculate for the current flowing through at this resistor here. Okay, so let's name the total current as what I. Okay, and then the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor as what I1. Okay. So now how are you going to calculate for this current I1? So before then you have to calculate for I, which is the total current in the what in the circuit. So let's do that. So to calculate for the total current, you will have to find the equivalent resistance. Okay. So when you look at these two resistors, that the six ohms and then the three ohms resistor, you see that what they are in what the parallel connection, and then later on what they are in a series connection to what this 12 ohms resistor. So therefore, the effective resistance okay will be the six ohms being parallel with what the three ohms plus the 12 ohms was resistor. Okay, so that will be equal to what? 6 times 3 by about 6 plus 3, okay, plus 12. So let's see the value of what? The effective resistance. So that's 
6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3 plus 12. So that gives me the effective resistance to what? 14 ohms. Okay, that's what 14 ohms. Okay, so now that you know the effective resistance, we can calculate for the, the total current in this circuit. So from ohms per minute, that's what voltage equals what? Current times resistance. So current will be equal to what? The voltage about the resistance. Okay, so that will be the voltage, which is what? 42 volt over the resistance, which is what? 14 ohms. So let's see the value of this. So this will give me the value of what? 3 amperes. Okay. So 3 amperes. So I have the total current from the 42 volt source to what? 3 amperes. So now that we know this current, we would like to find out the current I1, which is the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor. So I'm going to apply the current division rule here. So therefore, you will have what I want to be equal to what? The total current, which is what? 3 amperes times what? This resistor, which is what? The 6 ohms resistor. So I'll multiply the 6 ohms resistor and then I divide by the total resistance, which is what? This 6 ohms plus what? This 3 ohms. So that was 6 plus 3 ohms. Okay. So then let's see what we get for what? I want. So that was 3 times 6 over 9. So that gives us I1 to be equal to what? 2 amperes. Okay, so that means when the 42 volts is acting alone, okay, the current that will flow across the 3 ohms resistor was 2 amperes. So let's write it down. So we have I1 to be equal to what? 2 amperes. Okay, so now let's consider the 35 volt source acting alone. Okay, so let's consider only 35 volt source acting alone. Okay, so I'm going to short circuit the 42 voltage source. So let's draw the circuit. So we've short circuited this source. So now let's consider the circuit with what? There's the 35 voltage source. Okay. Okay, so I have the 3 ohms here, I have the 6 ohms here, and then I have the 12 ohms here. So this is what the 35 voltage source. Okay, so now we want to find this current here. Okay, that's the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor. Okay, so I name this current what? As what current what? I2. So let's calculate for this current. So before then, we have to solve for the theta current in the in the circuit. Okay, so when you look at this, you see that what the current from the source passes through the three ohms directly. So that means what the current from the source will be the same kind of flow through what, this three ohms resistor. So therefore, when you solve for the theta current in this circuit, that will be equal to what I two. Okay, because I two is the first resistor that comes. That's that's the first resistor. That there was the current from the source for to flow through. So the total current will flow through this 3 ohms resistor here. Okay. So now let's calculate for the total resistance in this circuit. So you see that for these 12 ohms and then the 6 ohms resistors are what in the parallel connection. Okay. The 12 ohms is in parallel with what the 6, and then they will be in series with what the 3 ohms resistor. So this will be equal to what 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6. Okay, all this plus what? 3. So let's calculate the value of what the effective resistance. So this will be 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6 plus 3. So this will give me the effective resistance to report what? 7 ohms. So now we have to calculate for the what? The total current in the circuit, which is the same as what the value of what I2 that we are looking for. So from ohms per voltage equals what current times what resistance. Okay, so this current here is the same as what I2. Okay, so if you want to find the current here, that was I equals what voltage about resistance, but the voltage is what 35 volts divided by the resistance, which is what 7. So that was 35 divided by 7. That gives us I to be equal to what 5 amperes. 
okay and this is equal to what i2 so therefore you have what i2 to be equal to what 5 amperes okay so that means what when the 35 volt source is acting alone the current that will flow into the 3 ohms resistor was 5 amperes okay so now you have to find the total current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor so in that case you have to add these two values so let's see what i total across the 3 ohms resistor so let me name it i t so that we go to what you have to add these two current values that's what i1 plus what i2 okay so now when you look at this when the 42 volt source is acting alone that's when you go to the i1 and then when the 35 volt was acting alone we got to i2 okay so you see that what for this voltage source okay the positive the positive terminal is here okay that's it's moving in this direction and then for this voltage source say the positive terminal is here okay and it is moving in this direction so one is moving the clockwise and the one is moving the anti-clockwise so you are going to choose a positive direction so when you consider this to be the positive direction this will be the negative then when you consider this to be positive this will be what negative depends on how you choose it you get the same answer just that the the sign of the answer support will be different so i'm going to consider the 35 volt source here okay to be in the positive direction so that means what this voltage source what will be in the what, negative direction so the current from the 35 volt source will be considered to be positive and then the current from the 42 will be considered to what to be negative so that gave me i to 30 equal to what i1 okay which is what a negative current source so that was minus 2 amperes okay plus i2 which is what a positive current so that was plus 5 so this will give me the total current to be equal to what 3 amperes so in a situation whereby you consider this side to be the positive source and then this side to be the what to be the negative source you get what it to be equal to what 2 minus what 5 and this will give us what minus 3 amperes okay so you see that so you get the same current value but just that what the signs are what are different okay so let's take another example So let me draw and write a question on the screen here. So I'm going to draw the circuits. So I have the first what is source here. Okay, and then I have another resistor here, then I, another voltage source here. So this is a 7 volt source. This is a 1 ohm resistor. This is what a 2 ohms resistor. This is 4 ohms resistor, and then this power source is what. 28 volt source so you have to calculate for the current in the one ohm resistor okay you have to calculate for the current in this one ohm resistor here so you are going to apply what superposition term here so first of all we are going to consider the 28 volt source acting alone okay so that means you are going to short circuit the 7 volt source okay so when i do that i have the circuit to be something like this this is the 28 volt source okay this is the 28 volt source and then this is the 4 ohms resistor and then this is the 2 ohms resistor and then i have what the 1 ohm resistor here so this is the 1 ohm resistor so you short circuited the 7 volt source okay so before you can find the current in the one ohm resistor which i'll name i1 okay you must find the total current in the circuit okay which is what current what i so how are you going to do that 
So before then, you have to calculate for the effective resistance. Okay, so that was how T. This will be equal to what? So you see that to the two ohms and then the one ohm resistor and what in a parallel connection. So that was two ohms is parallel with what this one. And then they will all be in the they will all be in a series connection with what with the four ohms resistor. So that was plus what four. Okay, so this will be equal to two times one divided by what? two plus one all plus what four. So that will be what two over three plus four. So this will give me the effective resistance to be equal to what? 14 divided by 3 ohms. So now you can calculate for the total current by using the formula of voltage for what? Current times what? Resistance. So the current will therefore be equal to what? Voltage divided by what? Resistance. So I'll convert this resistance value to decimal. So that would 4.66. 666 six, six. that's his repeating so the voltage is what 28 divided by what? this resistance value okay which is equal to what 4.67 ohms so that was all divided by what 4.67 ohms okay so let's see the value for the current so we have the current value that's 4.67. So you have what the current value is what 5.999. So I'm going to make this uh, 6 amperes. Okay. So you have what the current value is what 6 amperes. So that's what the total current from the source. But you want the current in the one ohms resistor. So how are you going to do that? So I'm going to apply what current division will be here. So you multiply the total current which is 6 amperes. Okay. By these two ohms resistor. Okay. These two ohms resistor. So that what by two divided by what the two ohms resistor plus what the one ohm resistor. So let's see the answer we get for this. That was six times two over three. That gives us what I want to be equal to what four amperes. Okay, so when the 28 volt source is acting alone, we get what the current of what four amperes to be flowing towards the one ohm resistor. So let's Let's calculate for the current that for flowing to the one ohm resistor when you have what the seven volt source acting alone. So when you have the seven volt source acting alone, you are going to short circuit the 28 voltage source. So we have our circuit to be something like this. Okay. So this is the one from resistor and then I have the seven volt source here. So this is one ohm, this is two ohms, two ohms, I have four ohms here and then I have the seven volts here. So I want to calculate for the current going to the one ohm resistor, okay, which I name what I2. Okay, so to do that, you have to first calculate for the total current in the circuit okay so we first calculate for the effective resistance you see that for the four ohms and then the two ohms resistors are in a parallel connection so the four parallel two and then they will be in series with the, with the one ohm resistor so this will give us four times two divided by four plus two okay all this plus what one so let's see what you get So this will give us the effective resistance to be equal to what, 7 over what, 3. So changing this into decimals, we get what? 2.3 repeating. Okay. Boom. So now we know the effective resistance, so you can calculate for the current. That's what voltage plus what? Current times what? Resistance. So current will be equal to what? With the voltage over what? The resistance. So the voltage is 7 volts. So that was 7 over 2.3 repeating. Okay, so that gives the current that the total current in the circuit to be equal to what? 7 divided by 2.3 repeating. So that gives us what? The total current in the circuit to be 3 amperes. Okay, so the total current in the circuit to be 3 amperes. But when you look at this, you see that what? The total current from the voltage source is what's flowing through the 
one ohms resistor directly in the package. So therefore, the theta current from the circuit, which is what I, will be equal to what I2. Okay, so it's the same current that flow across of this one ohms resistor. So therefore, we have what I2 to be equal to what three ampere. Okay, so now we have what I1 and then we have what I2. So now what to what? So now you have to what, find for the what, actual current flowing through the one ohm resistor. So let's look at how we're going to do it. So we are going to consider one of the voltage source to be positive and then the other to be, what, to be negative. So in this case, I'm going to consider the 28 voltage source to be positive and then the 7 volt source to be, what, to be a negative source. So therefore, the total current flowing across the one ohm resistor okay, will be equal to what, I1 plus what? I2. Okay. And you know, I1 is flowing from the what? A 28 voltage source and that is considered to be positive up to that one four and then the the seven voltage is considered to be to be a negative voltage source so the current from that source to both a negative current so that would plus minus three ampere so that would be equal to what? four minus what three this will be equal to what? one ampere so therefore the total current flowing Across this resistor here is what is one ampere. Okay, so that's what the total current flowing across of this resistor here. So I would like you to try and then solve for the what total current flowing across of this four ohms resistor here using a superposition theorem.